My name is John Malonis and I'm the president of the board of Camp Angelos. It's really been a neat thing to see the kids come out here and get away from the video games. There's no TV, there's no computers for the most part. And so they get a chance to see the outdoors and see the environment and the role that it can play in their life. What's your favorite thing about fly fishing? Um, catching fish. Of course. Hi, uh, my name's Jen Kiltow and I'm one of the directors of Fish Camp and I uh, was really looking forward to uh, you know, giving the kids the experience of learning how to fish. It's something I grew up doing with my own dad and uh, something that I, both my husband and I share with, with our son and uh, was really looking forward as a teacher to be able to share that with some of my students even. The ultimate cast plus the ultimate bait equals ultimate fishing. Yeah, we're gonna go fishing! Yeah. We're going fishing. <laughs> Fishing's awesome. Um, I'm going to be a great fisherman when I'm older. My name is Rod Brobeck. I'm with the Oregon Wildlife Heritage Foundation. We organize the fishing portion. Jen and Dave do all the rest. They organize all the counselors and the volunteers. It's a great camp. The kids just love it. We've got about, well, we put about 800 fish in this little pond out here just before fish camp. Fish are doing well. The kids caught fish up to 19 and a half inches long. Lydia caught the biggest fish. She caught a 19 and a half trout here at camp. Good job. This camp is awesome, and I really hope Gus is really watching over us. I definitely think he'd be really happy to see us out here. The, the fish camp is one of the things that uh, Gus started years ago, and he's got a loyal group of followers, and they do a great job passing on one of his loves, uh, that of fishing, to both boys and girls ages 9 to 14. <laughs> It was nine inch here. Awesome. Oh, fish. Okay. It teaches them patience and uh, responsibility as far as you know watching their uh, their hooks and it's a good experience for the kids and it's a great one for us who've been in fishing for a long time. Sometimes we forget how thrilling it is to catch that first fish, but boy, let me tell you. When you work with these kids, that all comes back to you. You can see how thrilled they are. Okay. My first one since I came to camp. Yay, nice. that's a nice Good fish. Job. I've caught four fish. I'm working on five. I just caught a rainbow trout and it was 10 inches. Its name is Flippy. People at Camp Angelos ask our Oregon Bass and Panfish Club to try to help some of the kids fish for something other than trout. We thought warm water fishing would be a nice experience for them. So we tried to pick a place that would have some bluegills and sunfish and, and some small uh, largemouth bass and so forth. And we've got them fishing along this wall out here with a little piece of worm because the fish are quite small, but they're quite active and they're quite aggressive. So all the kids are having fun catching these little critters. So we hope the kids are really enjoying themselves. Can we pull the hook out? Yeah, we'll put the hook out and we'll... Early some falling off. Okay. So it's fun doing this. I like to see kids catch fish. You know, that's that's the fun part. Hi, uh, my name is David Greasehammer. I'm one of the camp directors here at uh, Augusta's Fishing Camp. The coolest thing about camp is just that that feel of the community and how everybody comes together as a family. Um, you, you'd see these kids come in. Some of them have never been away from home. Some of them have been away to other camps. Some of them have been to our camp. And they just kind of all come together into this big melting pot um, and that one thing that they have in common is that love of fishing and before you know it it's a family and uh, it's just it's really cool to see all that. It was my first overnight camp and I had a great time it's a lot of fun. At this station uh, we introduce ourselves and show them how to clean trout. Uh, a very quick easy way to clean trout with basically a pocket knife, a simple knife, how to clean it with just two cuts. One across the head, one up the belly, and then take the head and the entrails all come off in one piece. You can clean the bloodline out and rinse it and it's ready to cook. And they can expand and contract that which helps them raise That's up and down cool. in the water column. Yeah, absolutely. That fish camp was really fun for my first year and I really want to come back next year. And I'm going to miss all the people that I've met. And in the other cooking session, because the kids all went to Blue Lake Park and caught sunfish, we're serving tilapia today. So we're going to 
and show them how to make an egg wash. Put the fillets of fish in the egg wash and it's set for a few moments. Then we'll take and put a pan full of coating mix uh, out where we'll roll those moist fillets in the coating mix and put them in skillets over a campfire stove. And when we turn around and serve it to them, all those kids who say, I don't think I really like fish are saying, can I have another piece? We found a tiny fish. Right here. There you go. Um, okay, well, what, what did you all find in here? The fishy is back there. Even if it had, even if we looked at it and it says it has like two little teeny tails there, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Still two little teeny tails. It's an elegant facility and it's a great place to teach somebody the basics of fishing. And I've had a, I've had a grand time the last couple of days. And uh, I'll be back next year. I will. I'm going to volunteer for this again. Basically what you're going to do is you're going to take the line and you're going to thread it through the eyelets here, all the way through the top. The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to tie a swivel snap on the end of the line. And then the next thing is going to be a weight and a bobber. And then we'll put a hook on the very end. There you go. What a school! Yeah! <laughs> Don't turn your elbow in. That's it. Nice shot. Nice hey, group right from the beginning. It works. So far, it's, it's been a great time. Back and forth. Okay, now, uh, I'm going to work with all of you individually. We're going to work individually with you. I don't break my wrist. I use more of my forearm and my whole arm when I cast, and it's going to be easy. I'm Jim Teeny, and this is uh, Doug Stewart. We're teaching the kids how to uh, tie flies and uh, showing them the basics of putting the hook in the vise and putting the thread on. Yep. Isn't that a good one? Look how, look how nice that is. That's really a nice job. But what we're going to do is go over a few things to make your time on the river tomorrow much more enjoyable. just see how, um, you know, what an impact camp had for them in terms of becoming more independent, having confidence in themselves, and just having passion for something in life. I love this camp! Fish camp was awesome. It was the best year I ever had. If you're thinking about giving to Fish Camp and sponsoring us in some way, we would so appreciate it. The opportunity that these kids get from coming to camp, they're learning skills and strategies that will last them a lifetime. What I was looking at as I was looking at the good side of it is like I can come back next year and I can be a CIT and I can, it'll be great, it'll be good and it's changed my life so much. The good thing about Fish Camp is that you have the opportunity to be a CIT after you're done yeah. being a camper. My role here is to work with the CITs, which are counselors in training. And in general, they are campers who have been with the program for several years, enough to really grow to love fish camp and what it brings to their life. Really, for us, it's the first generation of kids who have really been so passionate about the camp, and they want to now give back to camp by becoming counselors themselves. One of my most enjoyed things was the archery. I hope I can do it next year. Um, I'll see you all at fish camp. You know, fish camp isn't just about fish. That's, that's the common thread to all of it. But it's about friends, it's about games, it's about being active and living a life where you get to be the person you always wanted to be. I can't wait for next year's because I have so many friends at fish camp so far. I'm going to be really happy when my parents come because I want to show them everything I learned and what I experienced here. They're learning a sense of independence that is just a lifelong skill that you can't replicate. In, in other situations and that's why it's so important that that we are getting sponsors who really care about kids and want to help the kids out. This has been my third year at fish camp and all my three years they've been great. Um, the, tech, 
the, all the techniques we learn about fishing, it's, it's pretty amazing. And it's something that I'll probably never forget in my life. It's just a great place to be, you know. We have, you have fun here and um, meet new people and it's just really a good time. And any kid that is thinking about coming to camp, I would highly encourage. Kids don't have any money, we, we have them out here anyway. And that support comes from our sponsors and, and from people that donate and uh, we really, really need more help in the future to get these kids out here. It's powerful and it's a life-changing event for a lot, a lot of these kids.